Hello, my name is Andre and this is Andre G Designs and today I want to talk about color filters. Alright guys, this is my first Friday Photoshop tip and today I want to talk about color filters. To me this is a little bit different than color correcting because color correcting uh, you can um, put in the right colors that you want or adjust for printing. Uh, this is kind of uh, to me a little bit more like an Instagram edit. So here's an example and this was done in Instagram so it's not going to be an exact replicate of it but we'll get pretty close with this. So I already made a new layer. You should make a new layer. You can do that by pressing Control J or just dragging this down to the new layer or right click duplicate but here we are and I'm just gonna go back to this one and you see uh, some of the colors in here I'm actually gonna select a color um, like I'm gonna select this orange brown color and I'm actually going to open this up and darken it a little bit. Alright, so if we make a new layer, then we can take the bucket tool and just pour the color on there. Now, you may be wondering, or you may not be wondering, well, now you can't see the image. Well, if we go down here to our color, or not our color, our uh, blending options, you can choose from a variety of um, blending options, and um, that will just help you go from uh, not being able to see it to see it. So for this one, I want to do darken, and I want to pick a second color now. And so this color, I'm going to go with kind of a purpley color. And this was um, what showed up in my eyes. So I'm actually going to make a new layer again. And I'm going to um, brighten this up a little bit. And here we go. Take the bucket tool, put it over, and then go through the blending options. Um, I want to go with a soft light this time and the reason I do this is because I already know um, so up here darken all the way down to darker color is uh, blending in the uh, highlights by taking out the dark parts and then uh, overlay to hard mix is kind of doing the opposite of leaving the dark parts and taking out the highlights. So a good example of this is you can see um, over here there's a bright part and over here is a dark part. Well the purple shows up over here, but the brown shows up over here. So these two colors are going to affect each other. Now you may be wondering, well now it's all super purple and super brown. And that's not how it is in this image. So we're gonna fix that right now by we select the color we wanna bring down a little bit more and we can just literally drag down the opacity and there we go. So with the browns, I'm gonna go about 82%. With the purples, um, I'm gonna go Again, about 82%. It's gonna be different for every single photo. So you gotta keep that in mind throughout this whole process. But the majority of it is the same, uh, saying you can do this with every photo. Uh, you can make this new layer, put in the color, and put in a blending option. Every photo. It's just the judgment of where you wanna put things is a little bit different. So here 
we got pretty close, but I still want to get closer yet. So I'm going to put a curves adjustment over this. And I'm just going to take the brights and brighten them up a little, and the darks and lower those down a little. So now you can really see the colors popping through. And then uh, just knowing that this works, I can do it with the red too. Um, and I know this because I've done it to several photos before. And again, the, cov the, the curves adjustment is going to be a little bit different. So to teach you the curves adjustment, um, left, the left side is dark, the right side is bright, the top is bright, and the bottom is dark. So um, as you bring this to the right, it brighten, brightens it up. As you bring it to the top, it brightens it up again. But um, the other thing to keep in mind is that's this line is going from the darkest of the dark to the brightest of the brightest. So that's what you're messing with. And go to the blue and I'm gonna drag this down just a tad bit. And then right around here, I wanna straighten it back out. And I'm actually gonna take this side and bring it up a little bit. And what this does, it adds a little yellow, adds a little purple. And then with the green, um, I'm actually going to bring this back out, straighten the curve back out, and that's it. So that um, is just adding a little accentuation to it all. So now you can really see it's getting much closer to this so just to add that tad bit more i'm actually gonna bring down the purples a little bit because it's making my face uh look a little bit red all right there we go so above this all i'm gonna put in another adjustment uh, these are layer adjustments which is also different than if you go image adjustments because image adjustments applies it directly to that layer this is adding a whole new layer and that's why i use it uh, that was just what you know so then i'm gonna actually bring in uh, another one called brightness and contrast and i'm just gonna bump up the brightness a little bit and i'm bump up the contrast a little bit so it just kind of defines things a little bit. And now it's looking really close to it. Last step is we're gonna go back down to layer one. So here you can do two things. You can either make a duplicate of this layer by pressing Command J, or you can do this way where you convert it to smart filters then you go down to blur, gushing blur. If you made a duplicate, you're gonna do this part. You're gonna go blur, gushing blur. And then you put in the blur you want. This is already where I want it. And then, uh, so this is why. You can either make a duplicate or do just the, um, just the smart filters. So if we put a mask on this, there's a mask here and then it'll mask out this blur and leave open the my background which is going to be your um, original copy uh, that you duplicated from or you can just go to smart filters like I just did and then you can select so you want the harness all the way down and then you want uh, typically a pretty big brush so this is the brush I want to use and then you can just click down and this kind of just does the tilt shift effect that is on this so 
I'm noticing there's a little bit less contrast than the other one, so I'm just gonna bring the contrast a little bit down. Um, quite a bit. And then, um, that looks pretty close to me. Bring the right a little bit up. 